Hey everyone, welcome. Uh, we have Terence Riley here from Ulta, who's going to give a session on um, interactive arts. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any questions in the meantime, feel free to pop them in the chat and we can take them over Discord as well. Thanks. Cool. Okay, get going? Okay. Right, so um, hi guys. Um, hi everyone. My name is uh, Terence Riley. Uh, I'm a co-founder and CEO of Ulta. Um, I've got a background in three character animation and love the great interactive art. Um, please know, just uh, get ahead of this. Uh, I'm not a developer and um, my co-founder uh, couldn't be here today uh, to help out. So, but he's gonna be available in the Discord. Uh, so if any tech questions, please direct them there. <laughs> so. So today um, we're going to be talking about dynamic NFTs. Um, uh, so during the workshop, I'm going to do a brief demo of uh, working of an example we've prepared. Uh, it's on our uh, Mumbai uh, uh, Ulta testnet. Then we're going to jump through some of that code of that example, and then uh, you'll be able to grab that example actually on our GitHub afterwards. Um, we welcome you to create your own uh, you know, dynamic NFT experiments on our testnet website. So <laughs> the focus uh, of today's workshop is all about code as a creative medium. And um, by the end of this workshop, we hope to inspire you to use your coding skills to uh, in new creative ways. So uh, thanks, thanks to Ernie Global for inviting us uh, to do this. Um, so our smart contracts are built on top of sort of smart contracts and we extended them to uh, with additional features to give creators who code more uh, control with their type of art. Um, Um, so here's an example we're going to be looking at through today. Um, this is on Ulta Testnet. It's on a, on Mumbai. And uh, so I've got, this is a project. Uh, the idea of the, this dynamic NFT is <laughs> to enable collectors to get different interactive controls. Uh, uh, depending on their additions, depending on when they, they purchase or mint that NFT um, during the Dutch auction, okay? So um, let me show you, for example. So here's the project. <clears throat> there is four of these artworks minted. Uh, the first one and the second one are actually part minted in the first uh, drop time. So if I just go into uh, edition one, there is, uh, you'll notice there's three interactive controls here uh, where you can do some basic stuff. This is, by the way, a 3GS uh, scene. <clears throat> uh, then if I go over here, to that project, I look at uh, edition number three. I will see two controls. Okay. Okay. And then uh, the last we've done just done three. I'll just refresh that. And if I go to this is a ID token four. You've got one control. Okay. So additionally, there's also <laughs> one other thing where you've got uh, like the properties of the, the aesthetic can change as well. So for example, there's more boxes on this one. Uh, in this, well, there's uh, less boxes and this one, there's uh, even less, okay? So there's the working example. It's on our Mumbai and uh, just wanted to start off with that. So we will have this code up on uh, GitHub uh, for you to grab and explore and create dynamic NFTs there. So first of all, I just want to introduce Ulta. Um, you know, Ulta is a platform for NFT experiences. It's for people who love to create interactive art, interactive design, interactive music, web games, all that sort of stuff. Uh, where like, if you think of 
Google Chrome experiments or like Theo or Aor uh, immersive web, web as NFTs. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> That's what we're all about. You can check out, by the way, uh, oldart.com uh, for, for a range of um, NFTs we've already uh, up, uh, got up minted. Got some motion de detective motion detection <laughs> NFTs. We've got web VR NFTs, got 3D interactive NFTs, uh, lots of different types. So, but today, this workshop, we're going to talk about uh, dynamic NFTs. Um, to get started on that, we have to first uh, know a bit about the project's feature we've built and the subgraph. Um, so what are projects on Ulta? Um, our, our, our new feature is called projects. Uh, a project is a smart contract which basically manages in additions. Dynamic NFTs are NFTs that can dynamically change uh, based on events that happen on the blockchain. We built an Ulta subgraph uh, using the graph protocol for creators to represent blockchain events in their artworks. Uh, so when the state of the blockchain changes, the artwork changes, uh, like I've shown. Um, and then using code as creative medium with the Ulta subgraph, Creators can choose which events their NFT query and how exactly it affects it. So there's ultimate control. Um, there's a few properties that we can use in the projects. Um, uh, so we can query data uh, and fetch data back to the projects. Those are uh, addition number, commonly known as a token ID. Uh, seed number, seed ID, and the project um, smart contract address. For each project, there's a smart contract. So that's known as a project ID. The key takeaway is that these unique properties are added to the URL so they can be rendered and viewed in a browser. Um, and by reading the URL, additions can become uh, dynamic. So. Let me show you uh, a local artwork here. So this is the example I showed you, which you can all scrap at the end. Um, so, so as mentioned before, this project is a query. This specific project queries the different price drops in uh, in its Dutch auction. So the collectors get different interactive controls based on when they mint during that, during this project's uh, um, Dutch auction. So it's gonna run through like briefly some of the files here um, that makes up this example. So we've got, to start off with, we've got, um, we're importing 3GS, which is a 3D interactive library. And then we're, uh, we're running some, sorry, running the URL search parameters from this helper.js file. Then we're querying, um, we're getting the project data uh, from the graph uh, through the query.js file. Um, and then here, for example, we've got some, uh, the logic of the, subgraph logic basically so what we're really querying here is is the meat of it like querying the dutch auction drop the number of price drops and the remaining ones um okay now we've also got things so because the project id is not created until you actually create the nft on Ulta, you we have got in this example for you uh some mock data we can bring in that's coming in from uh, data.js. In here, you've got lots of data you can uh, pull into your uh, main.js file. For example, we're bringing in data all around the Dutch auction drop. So, in here, for example, 
uh, you can, uh, yeah, then you can, this is a lovely example. So I can query, I can have tree controls, uh, bring in here and so on. However, there's also another thing where you can override um, uh, all these like uh, mock uh, data, where if there is a, actually an auction running on Ulta, you can paste the product ID address in here and test uh, how your NFT updates, uh, whether it's aesthetically or controls, um, you can, you can uh, test it there. So in here we've got, this is the subgraph URL. And in here, this is a sort of a tool that you can create uh, or use to um, query uh, data on the blockchain. And in this example, we've got like, we're querying the first 10 projects on Ulta subgraph um, and things like the name, the total minted, the creator and the ID and stuff like that. There's over here, there's a, a range of um, functions you can check, check out, and uh, you can uh, then bring all this data and like put it into like a sort of a, a query JS uh, file. <laughs> then you can, like, for example, this is just getting the project ID, which has got everything in it, and the Dutch auction ID as well. So that's what we're querying here in NGS mainly. Sorry. So <clears throat> then that's like the, the most uh, parts of uh, briefly to show you. The last thing to show you is then the actual app. So for example, Anything in this folder is basically that what you're going to zip up and upload to Ulta. And in here, the only thing that uh, might be unique is uh, an app web manifest. This is a way, this is a file you can edit to include um, like a, a screenshot image or a thumbnail or extra metadata if you like. And then when you NPM, uh, start or, or build this, you then will bundle all your JS into this file. And uh, then you can just zip that up, the yeah, app, and then upload it to, um, to Ulta. So basically, that's the majority of our um, uh, workshop. And um, please, again, like direct your questions, like the more technical questions to already scored Nolta, but like with this example, um, yeah, we're, uh, we, we welcome you to create your own dynamic NFT uh, experiments on our testnet. And uh, just to let you know that all the creative tools, such as like the upload, uh, let me show you. Um, so in the beta Ulta Arc Mumbai, we have got upload, create, and then once you create, you have a auction, Dutch auction uh, access on our testnet. And if you do want to become a creative uh, on Ulta from Polygon mainnet, you then have to uh, submit an application because we're curating uh, the people there. So, but please, uh, you're welcome to go wild on. Um, uh, using this example, uh, play with it, explore, and please uh, push the boundaries of NFTs because we'd like to see more interesting stuff out there. Uh, and we, we, we really think uh, coders are creative. Uh, so uh, thank you. Thanks, Terence, for the great workshop. Um, yeah, we can follow up with the questions over Discord. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Great. Yeah. Thanks. Have a good day. Yeah, Thanks, you everyone. Too.
Take care. Bye-bye.